I've been a rabbi at Temple Israel in Boston for over 20 years. And being in Boston, we feel we have a particular responsibility to the city and to the greater city in how we conduct ourselves within the community. And it's not just ourselves individually at Temple Israel, but it's the opportunity to join with fellow members of the faith community in our own diversity to be united in how we view the world. So we stand up for those who can't afford housing. We want to ensure their voices are heard and how the Massachusetts Affordable Housing Law does make an impact on their lives and ours. You have heard from Bishop Shaw how the high costs of housing create challenges for members of all faith. We are here because we have faith in the goodness and the righteous acts of all people to care for one another. It is a religious mandate not to stand idly by. For sure, we might feel powerless as we watch how home prices have risen 63% and median rent rose 45% in the last decade, even with the drop of the home prices during the most recent recession, when incomes also plummeted. Or how 365,000 households with modest incomes will pay more than half of their income in rental costs. We can see out in the streets, too, homelessness, including thousands of children, and hunger, because without physical shelter, they suffer. What can we do to reach out? The numbers and statistics are important for sure. They speak truths of our challenge. It is the faces, the individual people, who grace our community who call out to us. The seniors, who offer so much of themselves to the life of our houses of worship, retired, finally, and who live on a fixed income, how could we not ensure that they should live as independent as possible? The house they raised their own children in may no longer be manageable. Too many stairs, too high maintenance costs, maybe overwhelming yard work. So where do they go? What options does the greater community provide for these seniors to downsize with dignity, perhaps with a first floor bathroom and bedroom? The affordable housing law has helped to give these seniors more options than they would without it for sure. The 17,000 homes built utilizing this law designated for seniors has been a great opportunity so far. We need our seniors to remain in our communities in affordable housing. Their wisdom, their lifelong contributions to the thriving of our gathering ensures our strength. And their presence is complemented by the many young people who are blessed to be able to attend colleges and universities. Their parents proudly send them off to receive an education and to engage in the world. Where do they live once they have been successfully launched following graduation? How do we ensure their brain power and energy is invested within our communities if our housing market offers very little options? Greater Boston's median rent exceeds $1,700 per month for a two-bedroom apartment. Home ownership remains beyond reach for many entry-level professionals. We need them as well in our communities. They are our resources to guarantee the future vitality of the work we do. This law helps to build homes throughout greater Boston that are affordable to young professionals. It allows them to live here, increase their incomes, and be near family and the community where they grew up. Finally, we all carry the sacred responsibility to care for those most vulnerable, those hardest hit by the economy. Job losses and unaffordable home prices have pushed too many of these families, these families, into shelters. 
in the soup kitchens and on the streets, without a place to live, the impact on their children is devastating. How could we not want to do what is within our very power to ensure that we keep producing affordable housing to ensure a life with dignity? This law is an important step, a crucial element in heeding the call to care and support one another, to prosper goodness, to prosper the opportunity for goodness and righteousness within ourselves and then outward. The affordable housing law is about our families, seniors and young people who need us and who we need in our communities. Let's keep the affordable housing law for their sake and ours. Don't repeal it. Vote no on question two.